Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a quick and easy outfit table for your table saw out of plywood. Check it. Today we're gonna to make a new outfit table for my table saw. I made this one for my previous table saw, which you can see it's a little too small, and I'm gonna make some improvements to it. The doors here, this, these are broke, and I want ones that sit on the outside of the frame and not flush with the frame. This one used to have a middle column in here, and I took that out so I could get my bigger jigs in there, and the left side of it, I had to modify it to make room for my dust collector. So my new one is gonna be a little bit more organized, it's gonna be a little bit more custom, but we're still gonna follow the plans. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the legs and the sides over at the table saw and the miter saw and glue them up. So we're gonna use two pieces for the legs to make the L. I'm using pocket holes and glue. You don't need both. You could use just glue, but the pocket holes clamp everything together. So we take our two leg assemblies. We'll take the side piece. We'll throw it right in here. I'm not going to glue mine, so I have the option of modifying it in the future. So now we have our two side assemblies. We're gonna cut the rails out over on the table saw to connect the two. So now it is time to connect the two assemblies together. I am not going to use glue, just screws, in case I wanna make a modification to mine in the future. But I do suggest using glue for yours. That was quick and easy. All right, so now we're going to flush up these front rails here. So I got my piece here and I'm gonna cut it to size. And we'll do that for the top and the bottom. And these we'll just glue in. All right, for this bottom one, it's gonna have a lip for the bottom shelf to sit on here. And speaking of, we'll cut that next. And then this should just drop right in, like so. I'm not going to fasten mine in, because it's not gonna go anywhere. So next we're gonna make the drawer for the top of the outfeed table. I'm gonna make the entire drawer out of half inch plywood, and we're gonna do a quick and dirty, no fancy joinery with this. So the front of the drawer is going to be one inch less than the opening here, and that's going to allow for the drawer slides that are gonna be mounted later. I'm going to pocket hole this drawer together. Since I'm only using half inch plywood, I need a smaller pocket hole. And I'm going to pull out this insert and put in this one. It has a smaller hole, which comes with a smaller bit and you can use smaller pocket holes. This one I am gonna glue in. Just use a clamp to hold everything in place. For this bottom, we're just going to glue it and screw it on there. For a long time, I didn't think that would be strong enough for a bottom of a drawer, but I've been playing with it and all my drawers are just glued to the bottom. There's a lot of weight in this drawer and it's held up fine for all these months. So it's how all my shop furniture is done. It's plenty strong. 
So before we install the drawer, we need to flush up the side of the cabinet so the drawer slides sit flush with the face frame. I'm just gonna use a two x four, a cheap old two x four, and I'm gonna run mine through the planer. You could run this through the table saw or the bandsaw to get it to the thickness that you need. So we're just gonna glue and screw this in. Cut these spacers out. That's gonna help me keep this level. We're just gonna screw this in here. So it's time to attach the drawer to the drawer slides. I've already slid in the inside piece here and I cut these two by fours to help me hold the drawer up while I screw them in. So they're there just temporarily. I'm gonna do one screw here, one screw there, pull it out a little bit further, do the next screw until I get three or four deep and then I can remove the support. Keep it going. We reclaim the slides from the old outfeed table and we'll put a face on there shortly. But next, we're gonna put a little divider here that's going to separate the drawer from the two doors. Drilled some pocket holes in the back. And we're just gonna clamp it in place. This will be the two doors. I'm just gonna chop that right down the middle. This will be the drawer face. Just gonna attach that with a couple of screws from the back. So over at the drill press, I mortised out this little pocket for the hinges that we're going to use. Just gonna screw them in place. These guys are called half inch compact hinges. They're meant to screw on the inside of a face frame with a half inch overhang. We're having trouble getting the doors aligned. So we set it back up on the bench. We got the doors clamped down. We're just gonna cut the top to size. And look at this. We're gonna fasten that down with pocket hole screws, and then we're gonna come back with a router and route two grooves in here so when we use our jigs, it doesn't kick into the plywood. And then after that, we're gonna put leveling feet on the bottom here. I'm gonna steal the leveling feet off the old outfeed table and reuse them. And then I want this just below the surface here so it never catches. Today's video is brought to you by me, Make Something. Did you know that I have a weekly podcast with Jimmy Duresta and Bob Cleggett? Did you know that I have a website with plans for a lot of these projects? Did you know that I've written two books, I'm working on my third, and I sell signed copy of those books on my website? Did you know that I have brand new t-shirts? Did you know that I'm a wiener dog enthusiast and that I have two of them? Weens and Wally? Check out makesomething.tv for books, plans, t-shirts, stickers, and a lot more. Let's get back to this project. So in here, I have my dust collection over here on the left side. And on the right side, I'm gonna build probably a little shelf so I can stack things. On my old design, I had a divider going right down the middle. And I didn't want that on this one because I wanna put some of my longer sleds and jigs underneath here. So I had to leave space between the saw and the outfeed table to allow for the dust hose and this little lip here on the back of the saw. We're just using 
shellac on here because it dries really fast it looks great and it's easy to work with hinges that i use are called half inch compact hinges and the half inch means that the door overlays the face frame by one half of an inch and the compact part comes from the hinge actually attaches to the side of the face frame so i did design the table to be about a half inch below the surface of my table saw and then I added leveling feet to bring it up to the perfect height, which is about one eighth of an inch below the surface of the table saw. So over on my miter station, I used the walnut top accidentally, and people were giving me crap about that. And I wanna break it down for you. Three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, one sheet costs $56.95. Three quarter inch walnut, same size, four by eight sheet is $59.90. Five. A difference of nine cents a square foot. Come on and get this. If you buy the four foot by 10 foot sheets of walnut where I get it, it's actually cheaper than the Baltic birch. So all I'm trying to say is this is my shop. I do what I want. So I do have plans for this guy over at makesomething.tv. That is it. We'll see you guys next week. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.